Hey guys, it's Paul here from PA Brews. Hanging out outside. Kids are inside me and I get making a whole mess of everything. Scott Silly, a cognac barrel aged Scott Silly from Brasserie de Silly, I do believe, from uh, Silly A Barrel. It's not silly, it's probably silly. I can't, but I, you know, but look at Scott Silly. You know, Silly from Brasserie de Silly from Silly Belgium. We're just going to go with Silly. I know it might sound a little silly. But this is it. But we're also doing the 1,000th, 100th video today. Um, not in the other bit of the woods. I'm in this bit of woods because it might be a little bit brighter here. Even though I'm on a stump. <clears throat> I hear chickens bitching. There's a cat that's going to bitch. There's a dog that's going to whine. Lots of things are going to happen. There, we're just going to look at it one more time. Limited edition Belgian ale. <clears throat> I don't know what glass to drink this out of. I just have a tack. Because I didn't know exactly the, you know, the style. I really didn't. I've never had the original. But I saw this when I was in Paul's Bow, Washington. I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it up. I'm going to. seems pretty freaking awesome. Cognac barrel. How cool is that? Uh, the one thing I cannot see. 11 percent alcohol by volume there it is pop hiss Ooh. Ooh, smoky here we go label out label out beautiful mahogany brown colors going on here with a tan khaki head with big old bubbles look at the big old bubbles in that thing See the light in there. Ooh, play with the light, baby. Splash. Splash on your ass. So it's very clear. I mean, obviously the top should probably be clear. I don't know what kind of sedimentation we might have lingering in the bottom. But the head is dissipating nicely. You can invigorate it again. Nice streaming protein and bubbles coming up the sides. Of course, alcohol eggs. It's outside. What's We'll do an off camera. <clears throat> Be polite, people. Off camera, one of those, just in case. Here we go. Jesus. Cherries, raisins, molasses, brown sugar, caramel, port wine, um, almost a hint of rye bread. Port wine, definitely. you <laughs> huge on the port wine now. But, but the thing is that sherry, cognac -y kind of hints coming up. I think I have some Cavassier in the house. Some cognac I've been sipping on. But for, you know, that port wine quality, because you get the prunes, plums, kind of cherries, um, rose petal. Kind of almost like a rose hip, a rose petals. Oh, wow. Jesus, Lord. <laughs> so it's it's one of those kind of aromas. That's crazy. Mm, rose by any other name would smell sweet. So let's do this. Cheers. Mm. Well, I knew it wasn't going to be as bombastic as the nose or as sweet as the nose. And again, cheers to everybody for following me for 1,100. I didn't even know I'd get to my first 100. So the 1,100 is definitely... Wow. And if everyone knows, we've all talked about the communities. That head is getting nice and creamy now, the more I swirl it around. Oh, there it goes again. It's all about the friendships you make. That's the, that's the reward, nothing else. There's no other reward. If you're looking for money, if you're looking for this, if you're looking for fame, get the hell out of this. Again... Okay, you're still getting hints of that dark fruit coming through. Those little pruny, figgy, raise, dates, raisins. You're getting f playful hints of that. You're even getting hints of that kind of bourbon. Or not bourbon, I meant to say brown sugar molasses note coming through. With that, you get a little bit of a dryness from the alcohol and then the, the barrel aging 
tannic notes coming through. And that cognac is bringing rush hour every time. No cars all day long. As soon as I start recording, there we go. But anyway, just you think I'm living on a freaking highway. But um, <clears throat> you get a hints of caramels coming through there. You have those 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 uh, little bit of almost a bready note in the background. You have all that fruit coming forward. You have the tannic note. Um, I think then the, the, there's no burn for 11%. There's no burn. The cognac barrel. See, usually with a cherry stuff like sherry and stuff, I get a little bit of a zippy tang there from like almost like a tartness. This doesn't have it. Just super smooth, super fruity, caramel hints of of those nice dark dark notes, those dark tones, and then it dries out really nicely. Very clean beer too. It's not refreshingly clear, but it's it's a very clean beer. There's nothing lingering. Uh, even that tannic note, it's not too tannic. It doesn't dry your palate out very much. It's very easy to drink. Even though I can't do it without pouring it all over me. Um, God, it's so subtle and so so subtle. I was hoping, I was actually hoping for a little bit more of a bombastic beer, but I didn't know what I was getting into. Had no idea. I still don't have. I don't even know what I'm drinking style-wise. It almost tastes like a double, one of those kind of low-key, good doubles, and then that that barrel aging just kicks it up to that next notch of those fruits kind of coming out, and that caramel, and those those tannic notes kind of drying everything out in your palate. Hints of a unsweetened butterscotch in there too just so like nuances of that butterscotch hints of vanilla but they're not bringing a sweetness they're just bringing a little bit of a waftingness in the back you're getting hints of a little bit with that breadiness a little bit more of a brown bready toastiness coming out now wafting with the faintest hint of a clovey clovey tone in that dryness of the tannic note mm. Mm. very nice it's nothing overblown. If you're looking for the next big, huge flavor bomb, it's not this. This is subtle. It's nuancy. It is delicious. Uh, if this thing didn't say cognac, I wouldn't be pulling super cognac because those cognacs, cognac, cognac is only giving you the, that hint of the dryness. It's only bumping up some of the fruits that were probably already there already for the yeast and from some of that dark candied sugars and stuff. I don't exactly know the style. I don't research my stuff. All I'm telling you is, uh, this is what it looks like. This is what it tastes like. This is the bottle it fucking came in, and this, it's pretty damn good. Mm. I love the fact there's enough flavors and very playful nuances that you can play with it, dissect it, think about it. But at the same time, it comes in a 750. You don't need to share this bitch. No, it's all yours. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Well, I'm like that with most of my beers. But still... The, the bomb you won't get sick of these flavors. These flavors you just want more of. You want more and more. It's very Moorish, as they say. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't want to take up too much of your time. This is getting a... I'm not going to go crazy on this one. I'm not going to go crazy on the score. I want to give it a higher score, but it's subtle. It's nuancy. It's very nice. It's definitely undefensive. There's nothing wrong with it. The flavors are beautiful what they are. I don't know the style that's hindering my own ignorance is always hindering me. <laughs> Story of my life. And anyway, but that's what it is. I mean, it's definitely in that 9, 9.5 region. I'm going to throw it right in on a solid 9, which is still a very fine score. Don't get me wrong. If anyone thinks that's a bad score, well, <laughs> get lower than that and see what you tell me. Anyway, 9 is a very beautiful score for this. It's a very beautiful beer. It's not bombastic. And it doesn't go into that bombastic range for me, but it has a lot of beautiful, lovely nuances, and it's pretty damn pricey. So, be that as it may, you have to—you don't usually figure price into it. But this wasn't a cheap fucking beer. Like I, when I was in Washington, I didn't look at fucking labels. I just bought the beer, but I knew it wasn't cheap. <laughs> so, Ooh. this is Bill Paul from PA Brunos. Thank you for joining for me on the 1,100th video on this channel. And thanks for coming along with the ride. <coughs> Noises everywhere. Sasquatch might get raped. By that me. I hope so. Alright, this has been Paul for Paper News. Cheers. Ooh. 
Affleck.